Hey guys, hope everyone's well. Right, uh, just a little job, some that I don't normally mess about with and record, but I'm gonna try and repair my GoPro 8. So, for some bizarre reason, GoPro on the 8 decided to do the glass on the lens fixed. It's bonded in. Uh, I believe the GoPro 9 and 10, and possibly others before that, you could actually take the lens glass off. You just twisted it and popped it off and you could replace it. So I have no idea what was their thinking when they've done this fix, especially with an action camera that is obviously goes into situations where you could break the glass or melt it like I've done with a welder. So, I've had this come. This is from a company called Camera Butter. Um, this is, I've got nothing to do with them. They say, you know, paid advert or anything like that. I'm just basically showing you this just to show people that they can be fixed. This is a stupid fixed lens on there. So apparently in here, we're gonna stick her. I'll shove it somewhere. And there should be a little tool, which I can't see. Ooh. I thought this came with a tool. Ah. Never mind, we'll have to improvise. Unless I've been stupid and that tool is a separate purchase. But there's supposed to be like a plastic uh, like knife type thing to pull the old one off. So what we got in here? We got wipes. There's the lens. I'll get you all closer in a minute. Ooh, it's sticky. We've got two wipes. Oh, there's the tool. It's that small, it fits in with the lens. That's it, just a sliver. How's that gonna get that out? It's all bendy. Basically a little sliver of stainless steel, so. It's very, very basic. So what I've got to do now is heat this up slightly and carefully to soften the uh, the bonding up and hopefully pull that screen off and worst scenario if it all goes wrong I've got the the next tool to properly fix it we'll see how this goes if I can do this anybody can do it I am quite clumsy anyway Right, let's get the heat gun. I probably guess this might be best with an air dryer. I'm gonna sort of hold this back. So yeah, it probably would be safe with an actual air dryer. But I shall have this on a low setting and see how we go. I'll pull that lens back in there in a minute. Yeah, it's not too good. I'm trying to get it about the same as what it would be if it had sat in the sun. And these GoPros can get hot, especially the 10. That seems to get really hot. Look at the state of that. It's not strong enough. Right, we're in. I think, yeah. Just run this all the way around now.
glasses on, so I can actually see what I'm doing. I think there is a bit of a... I've got the torch as well. There is a couple of bits on that lens. So, I'll give that a white round. I forgot it comes with white, doesn't it? So, it comes with two. So, one's wet and one's dry. So, I'm going to very carefully... Get it clean. Alright, maybe this will do it. I've got uh, some of that wind in a can that was uh, relabeled by Mr. Hepcat. Right, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to get this on as quick as I can. I'm just checking now to make sure it is a square by turning the old lens round on it, and it is. Just double checking. So I don't go and try and put it in if it did have a wrong and right way. So it looks like we've all right there. So what I've got to try and do now is peel that red strip off and pop it back in there without putting my filthy fingerprints on the inside. It's got a protector on the outside which we can peel off when it's in. And we're going to do that as quick as possible. And we're in. Sorted. That was easy enough. Camera back up and running. There's the ten. Oh, you'd be able to see my little setup now. Look, so I uh, obviously it's on the tripod. I made this aluminium sleeve here because when I was doing sort of clock shots going to the bench like this, I was actually holding the camera with my filthy hands. And uh, yeah, so I thought I'd get a setup where I'm not touching the camera. So this also charges as well. So if I want to do close up shots, I'll just grab this, pull it out of there, and away we go. And obviously, the batteries last a lot longer being plugged in because GoPro batteries don't last long at all. And when I'm done, I'll just drop it back in there, sorted. There is the old lens that we've took off. I, I really don't know if you'll make that out. What was caught there? I'm just catching it in the light. Sort of there. That's what was causing the splodge on the footage. It's quite a deep hole. Obviously, I'd say the world has done it. So that was easy enough, really. I'll say, got it from a company in Canada. I couldn't find anywhere else that does them. Not sure if GoPro do them as a serviceable part. I don't know. Uh, but these guys seem to be the only ones that do the replacement screens. And like I say, it came to the UK really, really quick. It was sort of within a week. So, yeah, excellent service from them. Like I said before, this I have no nap to do with them. It was just a little video to show that an old clumsy person can change the glass on the GoPro lens. Anyway, cheers for watching, guys. Take care.